Hi YouTube, Roy Marco with Marco Custom Build Models coming to you today with an unboxing of a 1970 Plymouth Heavy Cuda 2-in-1 Special Edition kit by Ravel. Uh, not normally a kit I would normally pick up, but I uh, got it in a collection and I was really impressed. It's a kit that I think would be uh, worth picking up, so it's a fairly new uh, set of tooling. I'm not sure if it was done 10 years ago or whatever, but it's uh, they did a really good job on this. So I just wanted to show you what's inside the box. There's the box itself. You got the heavy engine there with the two fours on it. You got an option to build it stock or custom uh, with or without a shaker hood. So let's open the box and see what we got inside and see if you agree on uh, the quality of this kit. Okay, so here's kind of what's inside here. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, first up we've got the body and it's packaged with the uh, underside carriage here. Separate the two. So we'll take a look at the body on this. If you look down the side of it, it seems to have really nice crisp lines, no waviness in the side. This kit does have a uh, indentations for door handles and mirrors got the tail section here uh, it says CUDA right on the back of the script there other side a beautiful uh, body shape as well as uh, good good molding couple little areas that might need a little bit of filler but other than that uh, nice nice crisp uh, lines on that kit here's the chassis here that's the inside that you don't see and then here's the side that you do see if you turn it over it's got good underside detail and the interior tub looks like it'll fill in the gap here so depending on how you want to paint this car you'll have to incorporate that looks like 2013 is when this was released so yeah basically 10 years ago next up we've got tires in the bag comes with eight tires because it has a custom set as well as an original style set of tires. I'll be honest if I were to build this kit I'd build it original so these are the tires I would use. Okay nice tread on these like polyglass tread. Uh, no uh, nothing on the side walls so if you had some decals or there might be something in the box I'm not sure. But there you go there's uh, four of those. And then you have the custom tires here, they're low profile, directional tires, uh, are they all the same? There might be left and right, yeah, no, these are all the same. So the reason I thought about that, if you notice they have sort of a split tread on them where there's a little bit of a different design on one side than the other. But, there's your four tires for the custom wheels. All right, we have the interior floor pan as well as the inner fender wells. So to paint this, you'd have to tape one off and spray this the body color and then the interior color. But anyway, it looks really nice. It even has, looks like detail if you don't want to put a back seat in it. So that's good. There's the underside of it, which has a little bit of detail here for your uh, shock tower. Then we have the rear seat, which has nice detail in it. The front seats, it's captain chairs, buckets. Then we have the dashboard with a glue-in, looks like insert for behind where the gauges are. So that's really nice for picking off some detail, I'll tell you that. So that's a nice thing to see. So there's that tree there. Next up we have a custom grill a custom hood and a set of leaf springs that look like they might be have a different arc to it whether it lowers the car or raises it up in any case what it does is uh, changes how those wheels fit in there there's the underside of the hood so this one has open uh, snorkels here so there's that tree and this is the original hood with the shaker plate and body there with the air cleaner. The inner pieces that glue into the into your shaker hood there. You got the uh, shaker hood with the shaker hole in it. 
And these would be original arc leaf springs for the car. Next up we have the original style grill for 1970. You got some hood hinges here and sport mirrors. We got the bumper in uh, for the front and rear in paintable form. So there's that there. The last piece of the bag here you have the uh, center console here, your full uh, clutch pedal, brake pedal, gas pedal, the steering wheel, nice detail on that. We got our pistol grip uh, shifter here, famous pistol grip shifter. We have the uh, steering column there, and of course your door panels with the rear panels molded in. These are uh, manual window car. Okay, there's that side, and that's what it looks like on the back. Oh, also we have visors here too as well. This is sort of the chassis bag here. We'll open that up. In the chassis bag we have two sets of front K member suspension pieces and my guess for that would be one is a different height than the other so if you have stock height or the lowered height with the aftermarket wheels. So there's one K member there with all the torsion bar everything molded in and here's a second one. K member with the torsion bars molded in. All right. Then you have the radiator sport being a unibody car that gets put in its body color. Got the firewall, the radiator, fan shroud, drive shaft, steering box, steering column there for the ins under the hood. Some uh, looks like some heater hoses and exhaust system. Flip that over, that's what it looks like on the other side. Here we have the engine. This is a 426 Hemi. Nicely uh, detailed, like down to the core plugs on the side of the block. It's got a manual transmission molded in the side. Lots of detail. Those uh, exhaust manifolds, cylinder heads, oil pan here. This is your timing chain water pump assembly intake with the two fours on it, the fan, starter, coil, distributor, belt accessory drive which just has an alternator, um, you have your upper and lower radiator hose, that's what it looks like on the back side. Then here is the rear diff cover here, we got our master cylinder, battery, wiper motor, this is uh, Probably a trim panel for under the hood there where the hood latch is. We got a couple of horns. This looks like power brake booster and four pieces to hold the wheels on in some way, shape, or form. We have the that's a data 60 rear axle, by the way. Nice detail on that rear diff, nicely molded. All the nice pieces are on there. Very good detail on that differential. We have a sway bar and steering linkage here. Some shocks. These look like front. Those look like rears. We have disc brakes on the front of this car. Drum brakes on the back. That's got the detail for the braking system. Like I said, very nice detail on this car. We got a chrome in this bag. So in here we got an aftermarket set of wheels right there and an aftermarket air cleaner for the two fours. That's how the back side of the wheels look. Alright and then we have the original wheels which are actually molded in the open formation so you can see in behind. You can see if there's any detail through the holes of the wheels. Very nice. Got our heavy valve covers and tail lights. These are those trim pieces that go along the bottom of the car. I think they might be optional. Um, these are your bumpers in chrome. 
Got exhaust tips here, license plate holder, a set of two four carburetors, wiper arms here, rear view mirror. These look like the door handles. We got hood pins here for them. These look like mirror uh, inserts for the reflective part of the mirror. A couple of fog lights for that bumper. We got an alternator here. Uh, I'm not sure what that is there. A couple of uh, headlight pieces for the headlights that give you the reflectors for the headlights. So there's that trim there. That's what the back side of it looks like. Next in the box is the glass and instructions and decals. So let's get into the glass here. All right. This glass is uh, very thin. Just does what it needs to do. It doesn't have any distortion in it. You have a front rear window. It's basically an overflow jug here headlights and some other windows for the car or the lenses probably for the gauges things like that I don't need to open this bag but it's got the four pins that hold the wheels on and they're made out of metal okay there we have the decals or decals you have an option of the black or the wood grain finish we got the hockey stripes, hockey stick stripes, I think they call them on this. They got them in black, white, red, and silver. So you got lots of options there. Uh, this looks like it might be interior trim or striping for something. Yeah, probably just interior trim. And then there's some aftermarket uh, pinstripe lines if you want, plus some license plates. The shaker, famous shape, shaker sticker that looks like it's shaking as you see it. So very good quality, feels like a good quality uh, decal sheet. Anything from Revell lately has been great. So there you go. Even has the gauges as well in white face or black face. Black face being original, I think white would be uh, an aftermarket, but do comment if I'm wrong on that. Then there's the instructions. There are quite a few pieces to this model for sure. Like any Revell, it gives you all your color coding and things like that. And then basically how your instructions would be and how the car goes together. We'll skip a few pages just so you get an idea. Anyway, and also some coloring features. Let's see if they have one for the original form or if it was the original car, how to place the stripes. Things like that there. So there you go. So that's the Revell 70 Plymouth Hemi Cuda 2-in-1 kit. Beautiful detail. This would be one of those kits that would be nice to build all original. Do the Dodge overspray underneath. Get down to the little chalk lines and all the paint marks on the car like it was original at school. I'd like to do one kit like that. This might be the one I do. So if you like these videos, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Ring that bell for notifications. Please like, share, and comment. As I love reading your comments. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.